Hi there, Dr. Gary here on the road. We are dental practice brokers nationwide. We sell dental practices. So today's topic is, and we have 10 employees now, we're in 28 states, so be sure to call us. Our phone numbers, uh, we'll get into that in a minute. Now, today's topic is, what happens when the buyer asks for far too much financial and dental statistical reports. When is it overkill? We'll get into that. So we're in 28 states. We have 10 employees plus two CPA accountants. So we're here to help you. Everything you're about to hear now is for uh, uh, entertainment purposes. It's not legal or business advice. Um, our phone number is 201-663-0935 and our website is dentalpracticeguide.com or Nationwide Dental Practice Brokers. If you want to sell to a DSO, please call us because they'll pay our commission often. We know who the best players in town are. And when you work with us, based on criteria, we can get your legal fees reimbursed upon successful closing. So anyway, when is it that the buyer, you just say to the buyer, no more information. This is, they trying to investigate the practice, do their uh, exploration and financial reports and so forth. But if they haven't given their letter of intent yet, even though it's non-binding, there's a limit to how much information. They should just really cool it at one point. You should be giving them tax returns three years, profit and loss three years, discretionary expenses, lease, W-2s, um, at minimum. And, but the profit and loss and the tax returns are really important. And a lot of people want to see the procedure code analysis by ADA code and by provider. You should be giving them all that. Lease is critical, W-2s are critical. But when they really start pushing and really want to get, uh, you know, really investigated a lot more, there comes a time you say, hey, enough's enough. I want, give me a letter of intent, which is non-binding. Uh, and that in itself will at least get the ball rolling. You get a number where he's coming from, where she's coming from. You come to an agreement verbally, non-binding document, but then the attorneys, once agreed, uh, the attorneys will go in to uh, create the contract. And then you could do your further due diligence, ask whatever you want, but now we know you're serious. Anybody we bring to the seller, we have pre-approved them through the uh, uh, pre-approved for the banks and they've signed our non-disclosure agreement all right that's already been taken care of so now we are post letter of intent okay that's a time you can pretty much give them everything they want you don't want to withhold information because you don't want to be in a situation as a seller that you didn't provide the buyer with adequate information can't let that happen they can never sue you because you want to be at the point that we've showed you everything we've given you every document you wanted you've redone a chart sale you've done everything and you want that you know email letter to go out that you're satisfied with what you've seen because you're not holding back anything um, and when you reach that point they should be satisfied but if they do information overkill before this letter of intent you know your attorney has to say something though look you're, you're just pushing the envelope here. This is a little bit too much. We've given you adequate information, should be enough information to formulate a, uh, uh, a letter of intent. And you just gotta do it. You gotta put up, you gotta put up, put it down, get serious, and that's what happens. All right, that buyer has to get serious or he may be wasting your time. So that's sort of the, um, we wanted to share with you about that. Now, remember, we have all kinds of new information coming out. If you like what you hear, we're at 7,000 and higher, I think, YouTube videos. There's over 315. Listen to these things. We try to bring you cutting-edge information, what happened that day, all right? We are the cop in the street. We're the, we're the uh, newspaper reporter in the uh, news person um, in the front lines, the war zone. We're trying to tell you what's happening now. And that's the way we do it. No fancy studios, no plants, blue lights, uh, um, suits. We're just not, we don't have time for that. But you can find that if you want, but your information will be six, about two years old. We try to give you cutting edge information if you want to know what's happening out on the streets today. 
So thank you so much. Hit the subscribe button if you want some more info. We got new info coming out every couple of uh, six, to, well, four to six weeks. We're doing the uh, uh, email blast with the new practices for sale. So check that out. We have some great ones out there. Just picked up a bunch of them. I'm losing track how many. But uh, call us. Check it out. Having a great time. It is summertime, rainy, but I'm going swimming and having a great time every day. Or everybody went bike riding. But we're out there for you. Thank you for listening. Have a great time. Have a blast out there. Go on swimming. Goodbye.